favorite tutorial with the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I've been giving this thing a lot of love. Can you tell? <laughs> Anywho, let's jump right into the tutorial. Thanks guys for watching. Hey guys! I am jumping into this Natasha Denona Sunset Palette again. I just love it. And I want to do something a little extra, a little more fun. And I've always wanted to use something with a red eyeshadow. And I finally found a really good one in this palette. Right here. So I've done my eyebrows, shaped them out with a little concealer. I'm going to grab my MAC paint stick in pure white. And I'm going to apply that to the front portion of my lid. Because I'm going to be using a yellow and I want it to be bright and bold and you know. So I'm going to just apply it there. And I'm gonna use my NARS, uh, what the hell is this? The eyeshadow primer that I always use on the rest of my eye. And blend it with my ring finger. Or you know what, better yet, I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for the paint stick and just blend it in. It's all right if I get a little extra paint stick on. Not a big deal, I won't complain. All right, this paint stick is prone to creasing. So I'm just going to set it with a translucent powder. So on a fluffy brush, I'm going to go into this shade here, which is called Bermuda. I'm just going to apply that as my transitional shade. I guess I'm working kind of backwards today, but that's all right. <laughs> I'm going to go into a Sol, which is the yellow, beautiful yellow shade that I want to apply to the inner portion of the lid on my MAC 248. All right, now back in with my fluffy brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Horizon, this pretty orange here, and blend that into my crease. And then I'm gonna go into this shade here. I believe it's pronounced Sinai. And I'm going to apply that into the crease as well, give it a little depth. So I'm now going to go into this red shade here, I think it's called Pangen. Pangen? I don't know. And we're gonna put that on the lid. Oh my God. And then taking that MAC 248, knock it off if there's any product on it, and melt the yellow. I'm gonna touch up this yellow in a minute. I really love mixing these two foundations together. It kind of just gives like the perfect canvas. <laughs> and they're both really good foundations. I just have a problem with finding my perfect match in literally everything, but it's cool. So now I'm gonna put a little concealer. This is the Guerlain Multi Perfecting Concealer. This is a hydrating and blurring concealer like this thing is a girl's dream. This is a girl's dream come true. Okay. I always feel like using shadow as liner sometimes is just it's a little softer, you know, and the look is already kind of bald in the face. Anywho, I applied a brown pencil in my waterline. I used this one 
because I hold it recently and I just right. I love so it. let's add a little something something to the lower lash line kind of make it more fun let's go into horizon which is that first orange shade we used then I'm gonna go into the red shade Take a little blender, kind of smoke it out. No product. A little brow bone highlight. Um, ice gold. It's a little intimidating, but it worked well. I got my Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow Palette. I'm gonna sculpt my face just a little bit. A little bit. Kinda go with the drama, you know? Just gonna go into the contour powder right here. And this is my Wayne Goss number 13. I've got my Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette. I'm gonna first go into the blush, the blush shade. And this is my Wayne Goss number 14. I like using this brush in particular because this is very pigmented and this brush diffuses it very nicely. Yeah. Alright, so for the highlight, I'm gonna go into Beach Nectar. Oh, this thing's stunning. So stunning. And I'm using my Wayne Goss the airbrush. I'm gonna go into the bronzer with my number 11. Bronze up a little bit. What am I gonna do with my lips? Don't know, but first things first. Let's get rid of foundation lip. That's not cute, you know? So I ended up filling in my entire lips with MAC Strip Down. So I'm gonna top it now with this Too Faced Sweet Peach gloss Papa Don't Peach. This is my jam. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. I'm loving this palette. I'm really enjoying it. If you want to see like all the swatches and more detailed stuff in the other tutorial that I have with this palette, I will link it for you so you can check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay beautiful and I'll see you soon.